Welcome to Certification Synergies, CompTIA, Linux Plus, XK0-005, Practice Exam. Questions 51 through 55. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 51. A system administrator has established a directory named forward slash shared underscore data to. The administrator aims to prevent anyone but the owner from deleting or renaming the files within this directory. Which of the following commands will achieve this objective? The answer is D. Chumot 1755 forward slash shared underscore data to. Now that we know the answer, let's break it down. The chumod command is used in Linux to change the permissions of files and directories. In the context of the chumod command, the numerical mode 1755 represents the permissions for the directory. The leading one sets the sticky bit, while the remaining three numbers, 755, set the read, write, and execute permissions for the directory owner, group members, and others. As for the forward slash shared underscore data too, this specifies the directory for which the permissions are being modified. Question 52. An IT administrator is configuring a Linux server to provide a user-friendly GUI for system management tasks. Currently, it defaults to a non-GUI terminal interface upon system boot. To rectify this, the administrator needs to ensure that the appropriate systemd target is set as the default. Which systemd target should the administrator configure to ensure that a GUI is displayed upon boot? The answer is D. Graphical.target. Configuring graphical.target as the default system D target ensures that the Linux server boots directly into a graphical user interface or GUI environment. This simplifies system management tasks by providing a user friendly interface for configuration and monitoring. By using the systemctl command to set graphical.target as the default target, the administrator can ensure seamless access to the GUI environment upon system boot. Question 53. Users are reporting unexpected connection failures when trying to access a company web server. The system's administrator investigates and uncovers the following message in the server's log file. Out of memory. Killed process to 3936. Killed process to 3936. Apache 2. What is the most likely cause of the connection failures? The answer is C. The server resources are being depleted due to a memory leak. The connection failures are most likely caused by the server resources being depleted due to a memory leak, leading to an out-of-memory condition. The message in the server's log file indicates that a process, specifically Apache, was killed due to running out of memory, which is a classic symptom of an out-of-memory event. When the server exhausts its available memory, the operating system will automatically terminate processes to free up memory and prevent system instability. Question 54. A software engineer is attempting to remotely install a new application that necessitates a graphical interface for installation. Seeking assistance, the engineer asks for guidance on configuring the required environment variables and enabling X11 forwarding in SSH. Which environment variable must be configured in the remote shell to enable the launch of the graphical interface? The answer is D. Dollar sign display. The display environment variable, which is often preceded by a dollar sign, must be set in the remote shell to enable the launch of the graphical interface. It specifies the display server where graphical applications will be rendered. When using SSH with X11 forwarding, the display variable should be configured to forward X11 connections from the remote server to the local machine's display server. This allows graphical applications launched on the remote server to be displayed on the local machine's screen. Question 55. A server administrator must adjust the permissions of a configuration file. Which command will correctly set the permissions of file.conf to dash r w x r dash dash r dash dash? The answer is D. Chumot 744 file.conf. In detail, the chumod command is utilized to modify the permissions of a file or directory. 
The numerical representation, 744, corresponds to the permissions setting, where the first digit 7 denotes the owner's permissions, the second digit 4 represents the group's permissions, and the third digit 4 signifies the permissions for others. Specifically, the owner is granted read, write, and execute permissions, represented as a total of 7, while the group and others are restricted to read-only access. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.